my team. Got skills on the table. We are still trying to figure this out. Scratching our heads. <laughs> no, I think we are going to bring in experts. Yeah. Yes. To, uh, Definitely. to help. Definitely. The county is not involved in our city election. The county involvement is minor. Majority questions should be addressed to the city clerk. And so I think it, it's two different things. We're talking about registration and then how the and election how the election oper- works. Operates. Right. And, and the voter registrations do go through the county. Right. So that's yes. what we... Um, yeah, I kind of like the olden days. <laughs> you know, election day was election day. It was day. very simple. Right. And you were either registered or you weren't. Right. And uh, if you were, you voted. And if you weren't, you uh, got it straightened out so you could vote in the next uh, in the next election. Yep. So it seems such more black and white that way. Yeah. <laughs> like not as many gray areas for mistakes. Well, they're trying to make sure that everybody that is eligible to vote can vote. And I understand it, but there's a little bit of personal responsibility on the part of the voter. If you know you have to do A, B, and C in order to be properly registered to vote, how much do we, and I don't mean us personally, but the the county clerks and everybody else, how much more do we need to bend over backwards to accommodate the people that don't seem to be able to follow A, B, and C? (laughs) You know? You know, exactly. There, there's, it's, it's a give and take. You know, you want to vote. We want you to vote. You need to do ABC. Well, I forgot, or I didn't do this, or I ran out of time, or blah blah blah. Well, is that, is that my fault? You know, right. But, uh, but everybody has a right to vote anyway. It's, it's not difficult to register to yeah, vote. Yeah, that's true. And so, and if you want to, you can just do it online. Yeah, they can even do that. So you can do it online. You can come to the chamber. You can call us. Mm-hmm. We'll come to you. And I Mm -hmm. even like the fact that you don't necessarily have to be, you know, the voting booths used to be if you lived in a certain district, you had to go to a certain place to vote. Now it's all... They have started the convenience convenience centers, which is so handy. You can go wherever you need to go. Yeah. Um, Wherever is easiest. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right. That's right. So... Super handy. Well, was there anything else we needed to cover? Because... so car show. Yes. That's the car show. We got a coming for up. a car show we did. from the city council. Now we get to go Was to the unanimous? Department of Trans... I mean, yeah, I, I, there wasn't any opposition. Hey, there's I an election say. coming up. I so, want to yeah. know. <laughs> they all <laughs> voted for it, yes. They all said Who yes. voted against the car yeah. show? We actually had two. One person um, motioned and two fought for that second. <laughs> they were so. excited. <laughs> That's good. That's yep. good. So, uh, so there will be a cruise parade mm-hmm. on friday night and then on saturday is some of the some of the cars going to be parked on main street that's what we're hoping yeah okay. we we go to department of transportation next to get okay. their approval which is why we had to start so early so but but for now mark your calendars for april 1st and 2nd okay and we're really excited so um it is artesia car enthusiasts along with artesia main street and the chamber um we've all collaborated this year to put this on hopefully bring it back it's been two years so we're really excited to um hopefully do it justice that it's been such an awesome thing for the last few years or well, we, well, many, we are, many years we are going to do the friday night Cruise music here on KSVP. So we're looking for a a location for that. We've got a couple of folks that want to consider nice sponsoring the location where we set the DJ up to do that. So we're working on that. Oh, cool! And then I think uh, we talked about us being there on that Saturday, Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. doing our radio remote stuff. So we'll probably get Big Nate up here so he can. Big Nate. Big Nate. Awesome. <laughs> so, well, I need to I need to stay good with Big Nate because he's also a lawyer. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. You know? And every so often you need a lawyer. Act right, yep. Gene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just act right. Yes. <laughs> and then you don't need it a lawyer. It sounds so easy, but uh, you know, mine and my business. Next thing I know, I need a lawyer. <laughs> oh dear, that's funny. Thank okay. you so much. Well, also, so, anything else? Yes, we announced it last week, oh, yeah. but a reminder, Tim Tebow will be in oh, Artesia right. Saturday, April 2nd at the pit at 7 o'clock. You can call the chamber and get on the ticket list. Um, tickets are free, but you have to have a ticket to get in the door. So okay. call us. We'll put you on the list. Okay. Tim Tebow. Yes, sir. The, the one the and only. Real the, the real Tim Tebow. Please stand up. <laughs> yeah. Please stand up. Go Gators. <laughs> I think that's why he didn't play so long in the NFL is when we did stand up. 
we were looking over him. Oh, wow. That's Did I just so say that sad. out loud? I Haters going to hate. Haters no, going to hate. Don't, I don't hate the guy. They, he ne- they never should have got rid of him in Denver. 100% true story. He, he was making them win. He was leading them Go to Broncos. victory. Yeah. Go Gators. <laughs> <laughs> one other question we talked about. Uh, we did have one of our listeners say that NMSU does have a new coaching staff. Cool. Um, Jerry Kill. Oh. K-I-L-L. That's how it's spelled on this post right here. NMSU, That's Jerry just a Kill. warning to the other teams. Yeah. <laughs> right? We're going to kill the you. The Lobos. <laughs> <laughs> he killed it. Yeah. <laughs> I've probably never heard those jokes ever. Um, no, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah. But he uh, apparently guy. had coached... Uh, in Minnesota for the Golden Gophers. Oh. Big Ten team. Cool. So uh, so we'll see how they do. Cool. Get a new coach down there. Go Aggies. You know, I was watching an episode of WKRP in Cincinnati because, you know, the guy that played Johnny Fever passed away this weekend. And uh, they brought in a, a, a punk rock band called Scum of the Earth. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny show. <laughs> I a, heard you play a clip on the radio the other yeah, day. Yeah, they had a banner in the lobby, Welcome Scum. <laughs> it was, it's a funny That's episode. what their followers are called, <laughs> Scum. <laughs> so, all right. Hey, all right, thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks, Behave. Okay. See you next week.